Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dope is Yola here. Hope you're having a dope day. Welcome back to another video. So as of right now, Rosie and I are on our way to Studio Motors in Burbank. So since last year, you know I've been trying to wrap this car, but I know it's easy. Like, why don't you just go get it wrapped? You can get it done in one week. I need somebody that's going to let me come film the process, film everything, because I want to document this, guys. Not a lot of people want me to come in their shop and film everything. So shout out to my homie, Shavo. Shavo, you've seen him on the podcast from System of a Down, North Kingsley. He hooked me up with his car guy. And Dave Guru, I, I met this guy last week. I understand why it's one of Shavo's best friends. He is so cool, so chill. Everything about the guy is like, you might be the coolest car guy I've ever met in my life. We're about to pick our color palette, pick everything, the accents, the rims, the wheels, every single thing you can think of. He knows exactly where to take us, where to take us for this, where to take us for that. This is gonna be dope, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deck this car out. So he started a YouTube channel and he wants me to help him with it because that's what we do. And I'm more than happy to help him with it. He showed me one of the videos he filmed. That production quality was better than my videos and I was shocked looking at it like, bro, you guys put some time. This took 15 hours to edit. One of the shots in this video was very handheld office style. And I go, oh, that looked like the office right there. And he goes, oh, that's my favorite show. And then he said, yeah, every time I make a really big sale or I do something really sick, my wife buys me a Dundee. Since it's his premiere today, Rosie and I went and got him a Dundee. So here it is, 2020 AMG C63. Let's deck it out. Oh, I almost missed my exit. So here we go, guys, 2020 AMG C63. Let's swap the colors, swap the rims, see what else we could do. Let's go. So this is, I'm gonna introduce these three different brand wraps. What's up guys, my name is Dave, Studio Motors. Oh, there we go. I'm hoping. Yeah, the I'm... professionalism game. Yeah. <laughs> what we wanna do for Thomas is, I want it to be a very unique build, but that doesn't mean super flashy or like crazy colors or like insane wraps that make no sense just yeah, to get no. attention. We're trying to go for a pretty subtle, aggressive, and uh, unique build. Nothing should look as if it's a separate component on the vehicle, yeah. everything should blend and mesh together. So we're gonna start off with picking um, a wrap and we're gonna go with only really good quality stuff. We're gonna look at Avery today, we're gonna look at 3M, and we're gonna look at Inazatec. Now Inazatec is a is a brand new player in this, uh, uh, in this sector, so. Yeah, all my homies swear by that. How it reflects light, especially the type of lights we have here, is a good indicator of the quality of the of the wrap. And there's a lot of content out there about the quality of these guys. Whoa. They went from they went for some really unique and OEM looking colors. Some of the best colors they picked um, like that's a Porsche blue. That, that looks like a Porsche so blue to me. Dope. Uh, super gloss yellow, definitely not your no. thing. But check out how these two colors like mesh really well together. This is like an 80s dream for like a it smaller looks car. Cool. The only thing is, is I eat candy in my car. I don't want to get pulled over every five seconds. With that, they're like, look at this loud dude. Oh yeah, no, Let's this isn't right for you at all. What's in your car, sir? Um, these are cool. What do you think about these like kind of tropical I'm, Miami I like vibes? Them but I will get pulled over. So the window trim, uh, all the accents, uh, the trunk molding, we wouldn't have to black out with a color like this because the chrome and the high polished silver all mesh together very well. I this like one? that color, let's bookmark that color. Cool, I'm gonna mark this one for Thomas. Look at how this side is completely wow. black, but this side has and the metallic dips. coming out. Yeah. So you're right, it will never be just gold. Exactly. Just like that. Whoa, that would be sick! Yeah, so it would it would give us nice angles. And even right here, it might look flat, but this little bit of curve is going to change every little angle. Yo! Can I clean your windshield? Five dollars, clean your windshield? It looks oh so nice, bro. <laughs> I love it. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Like that. Now this is daylight, bro. This I is mean, as bright as it's gonna get. I mean, I, I love that. You do? 
I, I, st I love that, man. Okay. Hey, bro, so. Yo, I'd love it and keep this black, correct? Yeah, this stays black. Mm -hmm. What would you What would you suggest for the M? I mean, I like this look. Let me do a little bit of thinking uh, on this. Okay. Stuff together in Photoshop, and my designer will do some things too. And we'll take it from there. Uh, kind of like a monotone type of a feel, but it'll complement each other. It'll go together very well. But if we could introduce a little bit darker vibe, it would really complement the car. What's up guys? So Dave has 3D renderings. Oh yeah. 3D renderings. Let's pick the car. Let's see what the car is gonna look like. This is GTA in real life. This is the chop shop. This is everything we've ever done our whole lives. Thomas picked out some dope, dope colors and then we finalized on a matte slate blue. So the wrap is a matte blue with a metallic flake in it. I went ahead and picked out a couple of wheels through our boys at Brixton Forge who I thought would look great on the car. So this is her right there. What kind of rims are those? So I have, I have a G-Wagon that's wrapped in this color real life pictures that we're gonna look at and make sure that the color is gonna work for you. Uh, chrome around the window a window trim, aluminum on the things, and all the accents are chrome and aluminum because chrome um, and aluminum look really good on blue. Very easy one, and I went with a high polish feel. So this isn't a real picture? No, no, this is a render done by our team at studio. This is more of a stealth look. This is what you're feeling? I mean, that is awesome. I love that. It's just, it's a little bit too bright. I just don't want to be getting shot at. Yeah, see this this military green. That's I just the one feel you like, were talking about. Yep. See this with a little bit of color accents like that, like tiny little color accents, really oh. makes for a dope car, bro. What up YouTube, Dave here, Studio Motors, and we are done with Yola's wrap, and it looks so good. <sighs> the car's 30 feet away. That is done. And I haven't seen it yet. Oh my God, it's awesome, bro. You guys crushed it. Let's get these badges painted the same color, and let's get this, this chrome painted that color too. The wheels even look better, dude. Dope, man. It looks so dope. dope. This angle's just like Murder right here, bro. It looks so dope. So it goes all around the car, and it's just the base, and everything from here above is basically black and blue. Because now I'm like starting to think of, would the black rims look better than the silver? The amount of money you're gonna pay for those wheels, dude. Mm -hmm. Like blacking them is like basically like throwing a blanket on top of it, you know? Yeah. We could black out the whole thing, and the only thing left silver would be the tailpipes and the wheels. And even then, if we blacked out everything, I would still recommend silver wheels on the map blue car. We should definitely pull up in this to the Brixton factory and, do the, get, the, pick and the get the out. wheels going.
Garcia. For the Kita Thomas, this is Stewart. So this yeah. is a front wheel, so it's a flat face, no concave whatsoever. This is the rear wheel, and it dips in like this. Uh, GT3, uh, GT3 RS. If you ever, if I don't know if you've seen them, but there's a Instagram profile called RS Hardcore. It doesn't really look a whole lot different until you get up close to it, and then you'll notice that there's a lot of like nice little detail. Originally, we wanted to go with a high polished silver wheel, mm -hmm. yeah. But as we built the car, Thomas liked it better with the blue, with the with the all the chrome and everything blacked out. Yeah. This spoke is a little bit thinned out, where the PF10 expands, connects to these, and then cuts back in. Okay, so we're going two piece, right? Yeah. Two piece yeah. glossy. It pops. Yeah, that's cool. It show. Yeah, it's gonna show a lot more. Bolts for sure, bro. Don't hide the bolts. Yeah, keep them up. Yeah, yeah we'll take so with the exhaust right there, there, it'll tie it all oh, yeah. together. The majority of the work is done out here. Look at all the metal that they've shaved. The sides the is where all the designs are, bro. Yeah. So it's uh, got a very different look than any other wheel. So, so like dope. the Rolls Royce. So dope. Woo! You see that? Fire. And these are Holy what twenties? These are 20 by 10 and a half. So the rears are 20. This is a 10 and a half for the front. Oh yeah, dude, that would, that would come to life. And the bolts, man, they add so much character. Yeah, yeah. that's fire, That's all dude. of them, right? Not 50%. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. It has been a few weeks. As soon as December started, I got super busy, and then Dave from Studio Motors got super busy, then Christmas came. And as soon as Christmas was over, I got sick for about a week, so it's about the second week of January right now. But the car is completely done, got new rims on it, new wheels on it, the wrap is done, this car is officially ready to go. So we are on our way to Studio Motors to meet Dave. We finally are gonna finish this video, we're gonna get in the studio, get all the glamour shots, all the stuff Nikita does. If you haven't seen their YouTube channel, go watch Studio Motors on YouTube. YouTube and you'll see what I mean by car porn. We're gonna get all the driving shots, all the close-ups, all the emblems, all the dope stuff. So yeah guys, thank you for being here through my first video of customizing a car. You know I had a Dodge and Trap and a Honda and Impala. All the cars were cool, they were starting off points. But this is the first time where I actually wrapped a car, customized it, went to a lot and bought it, got the financing, went to the bank. You guys saw the video last year. This is my first like adult car. Yo. Yo, what up, Dave? What up, what up? What up, what up? We are a couple blocks away. We'll be right there. Oh, hell yeah. Come on through. All right, see you in a minute. So I know a lot of you are asking, you customized the Mercedes? You did all that work? Where's the Monte Carlo? Don't worry, guys. Coming in 2022, we are starting the Monte Carlo. I can't wait. I got a 1986 SS, and it is dope. We're going to do a motor swap, redo the interior. Uh, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get my red stripes put back on the car. It's gonna be dope. All right, we are pulling back up to Studio Motors, except this time, the car is finished. Yeah, this is the scariest part, going up this hill. I love that sign in the back though, look at that. So yeah, guys, this is like a GTA warehouse. All the coolest cars are here. What's up, guys? So we are here at Studio Motors. Let's check the car out, it's completely done. I'll just say it's blue and the rims are black. So that's not very exciting. Let's have Dave explain everything good. What's up guys, Dave Studio Motors, it's a dope day. We got dope as Yola's car finally done. So my boy Thomas's car is finally done. When Thomas came to us to get some work done on his car, he knew he wanted to customize it, personalize it, but we didn't have a very clear direction. With Thomas, we went through a lot of wrap options. We went through a lot of colors. We got a bunch of renders done. Green wrap with like yellow lenses and some aggressive brass wheels to a blue wrap. And it was a, it was a little bit of a struggle making that decision for Thomas, but I think yeah. his heart was set on blue, right? Like that was just... I still wanna get shot. So we went with a night blue metallic from 3M. 3M's 1080 series is, the, is one of the best automotive wrap materials you can get. It's a material that could breathe. It's a matte blue, it's a true matte. It's not a satin blue, it's a true matte blue, but it does have a metallic flake in it. So when you are 
looking at the color in the light, in the sun, there is some movement in the color, and it's not just a flat blue that looks like a plastic toy or something. Yeah, I would've just said, oh, it's, it's super cool blue. The car is a dark blue with a gloss black trims all around black. We didn't do matte black because it would end up uh, with a very dry yeah, looking that's how vehicle. Think. You yeah. know when you see cars and you're like, yo, I feel like I could chalkboard right in there. Exactly. I don't want that look. Exactly. And all the way down to the badges. So everything that was an aluminum piece that can be wrapped is currently wrapped, but certain smaller items like the badges on the vehicle, those are not things that you want to wrap. They're not going to last. So all of these badges were removed using a template. They were painted in a gloss black, an identical match to the vinyl. So with the center caps, uh, we went with an original Mercedes center cap for the wheel, which has a little bit of silver in there. And that breaks up the full black of the tire. and. Well, I had to buy those from Ireland off Etsy because right. they're a odd they're size. A odd size. Yep. This rim doesn't have the exact size, so I had to buy it from some dude off Etsy. V8 twin turbo from AMG Mercedes, and it's a high torque, uh, high torque engine. And the wheels and tires that were on it were sufficient, but these are so much better. We went with Hankook V12s, fantastic tire for the money. We are an inch wider in the front. So even though it's a lower profile tire, the front tire is about an inch wider, so we have a little bit more grip. What? An inch and a half wider for sure. Yeah, it's sitting. So that's why it sits a little. Yes, outside ah, of the body. It looks body. more aggressive that way, right? Exactly. That's what exactly. the look. I knew something was a little different, man. Yeah. But I didn't know it was bigger in the back. It's not just dark, dark, dark. Also, you know you're successful and you've made it when you can uh, crease your mother <laughs> J's like that. <laughs> I'm standing like this. You know, I'm, I'm like trying to squat like an Asian man smoking a cigarette so at the funny. park. That is so this funny. This fool's over here creasing. <laughs> so creasing. I, I wore these for the car, bro. I Did feel really? like the Winter like, Jays are made great. for this. It doesn't look like we're bumping techno when we roll up. It, it, like exactly. cigarette smoke and techno. Yeah. Like, it doesn't look like one of these cars. I am so damn happy to drive it every single day. Every time I leave, I'm just hyped. And older white dudes over 60 just yeah. ask me what the color is every day. That's crazy. What it is about older white dudes with white hair, just love blue. My Monte Carlo, white tweakers. <laughs> like, you know, dudes on bikes just smoking cig, like, you know, it's a NASCAR lap car, right? I'm like, I, I know. Remember what I said, like, you want to have a car to when you lock it and you're about to walk in your house, you look at it again. Yep. I turned back about six times looking at this awesome, car man. every time I walked in my house. Awesome. Thomas really helped me out, um, you know, learning the ins and outs and blah, blah, blah. And I want to say a huge thank you to Thomas for that. Also, all of his viewers uh, that came over to the Studio Motors channel and are now our viewers. So the yellow one is a Ferrari? That's my Ferrari 355 gated manual. And then that thing is crazy. That's a Viper ACR American Club Racing, very rare. Grand Theft Auto, Cruising USA. Oh yeah, it looks like a toy car. It looks like a toy, and then... Uh, original Porsche Turbo, original car, no paint, completely original all parts, super low miles. We got Chavo's Corvette here, Bad. it's 66. It's dope. And then we got a 67 Shelby GT500. Thank you so much for being here. Real quick before we got here, Nikita, take it away. Do your car porn. Do, do your thing. Let's go. <laughs> What up? So guys, that's it. That's everything. This has been customizing my C63. We bought it last year. Shout out to Studio Motors for making this possible. And again, go check them out on YouTube. The channel is dope. So you guys supporting, you guys buying merch, watching everything in the podcast, you guys made this possible. So thank you for allowing me to customize this car. Everything's dope. I'm so excited. I still can't believe it's my car. So guys, I'm gonna head home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for everything. Until next time, I'm Dobaziola. Have a dope day.